This video is a more detailed look at SAP's IBP Sales and Operation Planning application brought to you by SEM Connections. In this video we will be focusing on sales and marketing forecast. So since the purpose of the sales and marketing forecast step is to get the demand essentially into the system from sales reps, sales managers, and marketing professionals, we'll start with the sales rep view of the data. And this is pretty typical what you'll see throughout this series. What you have is a couple attributes, uh, sales rep, product family, um, which could be anything, any sort of attribute you want to off of it uh, and the customer and then finally the key figures you have sales forecast quantity sales price sales revenue and forecast accuracy typical for all these reports you'll see areas that are grayed out which means that you can't change them in this particular case it's because it's in the past but the second line the reason why you can't change the forecast revenue even in the present and future is because it's a calculation and so that's not something that you would want people to actually change there are three things that I really like about this report from a sales rep perspective. The first thing is that forecast accuracy line being right there on the report. So as a sales rep is putting in their demands, they can see in the past how well they did. It's not some separate report. There's even an alert out there that tells them that this particular combination needed a little bit more attention last month. The second thing that I really like about this report is the fact that it's truly offline. It's an Excel spreadsheet and can be emailed around or saved locally. And then when the sales rep is done uh, making their changes, they just need to log on to IBP when they have a network connection. And finally, once they hit save, those changes are shared throughout the entire organization. May not impact supply directly, but it's definitely shared and they can then react to it. The next report is for a sales manager, totally different key figures. Uh, you'll see from the report this is broken down by customer region, but the attributes again can be anything. The three things that I really about like about this report is going to be, the first one's going to be about quantity of those, uh, the sales manager forecast quantity. It's manually maintained in this particular spreadsheet, but it could actually be sourced from anywhere. It could be, uh, be a CRM system, or it could even be calculated from um, you know, based on that sales forecast quantity we saw earlier. The second thing I like about this report is there is sufficient security behind the scenes. So right now you can see that the forecast price can be changed in the future, but uh, it can actually be controlled by the individual on who actually can see or change that price. And then the third thing that I like about this report is that you're starting to see the financial components of the IBP tool. So you're seeing the sales manager forecast profit and uh, we'll get in future videos the calculations behind the scenes and how sophisticated those can be. But the ability to change your demand and immediately see what that profit impact is going to be is going to be huge. So the last query I wanted to show you for this section is for marketing professionals. You can see this reports by uh, market family, market segment, event. Uh, we'll talk about those in more detail a little bit later. And then the key figures are marketing forecast, forecast price, forecast revenue. You're also seeing at the event level the promotion forecast quantity and the cost per promotion. This promotional functionality is something that I really like in IBP because it allows the marketing people to track their promotions in a very basic way, but also share that information on the overall impact of demand. So if a marketing professional attached a event to a promotion quantity, then that total value is going to be rolled up into their marketing forecast quantity. So to summarize what we saw in the sales and marketing forecast section, for a sales rep, you saw that that forecast accuracy key figure was right there on the report. There was a true offline uh, functionality to this and then the updates being shared immediately. It's not like it's going to start rescheduling resources, but the sales reps change in demand will be communicated more broadly, more instantaneously. The sales managers, you saw the flexible calculations, the security controls around specific or sensitive key figures, and then also you started to see that profit feedback calculation, so the immediate changes to demand and what impact that has on the bottom line. And then the last thing you saw for marketing people, you saw some uh, promotion and event functionality, the ability to do some cost analysis. And again, the fact that those updates are shared immediately within to a wider audience. 
So in the next video, we're going to talk about consensus demand planning, the idea that taking all of these demands from different organizations and putting them into one.